Well, hey, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good day, wherever you are, whenever you are. Um, welcome to Tech Tip Tuesday. My name is Ken Close, Healy World member here in the United States. And I am blessed to be joined by Jake Barron, our head of operations here in the U.S. Hey, Jake, how you doing? Hello, Ken. Hello, everybody. And I think, who do we have? Christian in the background Yeah, today? we got Christian helping out today in the chat. All right. Hey, welcome, Christian. And thank you for your uh, expertise in the background. Hey, you guys, have not, if you've not ever been to a Tech Tip Tuesday, well, buckle up, put on your helmet, because this is going to be a ride. Uh, what we do here is this is a chat-based forum where you guys put your questions in the chat, and we do our very best to unpack those questions, um, answer them, solve the mysteries of the Healy. Uh, anything around the apps, the technology, the application, um, even how it works in your body, anything. I mean, it's kind of open here. What we can't do, though, is we can't talk about treating or preventing or diagnosing any kind of illness or disorder or disease. Can't really give you any suggestions as to what programs to use for what issue. Um, we have great software for that. So that's not really why we're here. Uh, but we do want to make sure everything's working for you. So uh, if that makes sense, go ahead and throw your questions in the chat and uh, we'll get this party started. Are you ready, Jake? Let's get started. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, so what do we got? First out of the shoot. Um, well, there's a thank you. I love that. Thanks for being here. Hey, <laughs> thank you guys for being here. <laughs> I appreciate that. And yes, you do type your, your questions in the chat here and we'll get going with those. Uh, last week, let's see, uh, last week you talked about the difference between the wristbands and the coil. I listened to the replay and still don't understand. Uh, can you explain again, please? Also, um, how do you use them differently? So this is really a very common question, by the way, because the difference between the wristbands and the coil um, is essentially how the frequencies themselves are uh, being offered. Okay, so the app itself uh, is going to, it's got a, there's a very specific program you choose. Let's just go there for a minute, right? So you're in the, the pink app, this one right here, the Healy 2 app. Its purpose is to, uh, imp to implement and apply energy into your field, into you, into the client right? Which is whoever it's connected to or nearby, near it. So it's going to send information into your body. Um, it's going to be the frequencies of the program. Now, the microcurrent, when you're connected with the wristbands, right? And you've got the wires connected, there is a, a slight amount of uh, current and current is measured in electron flow or amps. Okay. So no different than plugging your lamp into the wall, turning the light, light switch on, and you get current flow through the cord to the bulb. And what happens? The bulb lights up, right? So you're kind of connected to the outlet. The wires are the cord. And your body is the bulb that's being lit up by these, these frequency, um, this frequency energy, by the current flow, the amps, all right? So that's going right into the body. And, and there's lots of studies, lots of information. And I highly encourage you to go out and just Google microcurrent technology, because there's a lot of different uh, other um, um, purposes and uses that's being implemented, imp imp implemented out there. Just trying out a new tongue here. I'll get used to it in a minute. Um, anyway, uh, the, the microcurrent has a huge, um, a huge benefit to ATP production, right? Which is the energy of the cell. A uh, huge increase in uh, amino acid transport and protein synthesis. This, this is all studies out there. Uh, it's, it's available to use. Healy didn't do them. They're independent. They're already available for you to see how it works. Healy uses microcurrent because of that effectiveness on the cell structures. Now, the coil, when you connect the coil, uh, it, it essentially replaces where you would plug the wires in, right? The coil has a couple of pins on the back of it that connect to the circuitry inside the Healy hardware. And then it converts that electron flow or, or current flow in the, uh, what we talked about in terms of amps. It changes that flow into a magnetic emission. So it sends a magnetic signal out. Okay, so this magnetic signal 
is going to go out into the atmosphere. Um, it's going to go out directly from the Healy hardware. And if you're wearing the Healy on your body, it's going to have a range of about, about a three foot diameter or spherical range, right? And it's going to, um, this magnetic energy is going to freely go out from the Healy, from the coil. And our body is water and minerals, which is essentially a walking, talking antenna. And our body picks up magnetic frequency, magnetic energies, magnetic waves. It picks them up. And then the body decodes that into um, information. And so the coil is sending out these magnetic waves. The body is the antenna receiving them. No different than the radio in your car. When you tune in a frequency, it's, it's information being sent by a, a radio station through the air, magnetic waves, and your radio, uh, or I should say your antenna, picks up those waves, and then it's information given to the radio, and you hear the music. So this is the same way the coil works. It's, it's essentially the Healy with the coil is the radio station sending out the information. Your body is the antenna receiving the magnetic wave, decoding it, and the body is then utilizing those frequencies to align certain systems, organs, and cells. Okay? So that's it. I mean, is one more effective than the other? Well, Again, do your diligence, do some research on microcurrent and its Im improvements, its benefits, its usage in the body. I do both. I do both. Okay. Um, it's just because they are different in the way that they're communicating with the body. Um, I've done some other talks where we talk about the genetic, the genetic influence, but that's a lot. <laughs> okay. All right. And I see Christian's got some spot, some stuff in there for you guys. Hey, by the way, um, I highly recommend that you save the chat. Uh, at the end of the call, you're able to do that um, by simply um, turning on that command down at the bottom of your uh, little chat box down there. There's the little smiley face right next to it. It's three little dots. Click on those three little dots and it'll pop up a, a menu that allows you to it'll say save chat. If you're on a PC or a laptop, at the end of the call, you'll get a prompt that says save chat. If you're on your mobile device, sorry, it doesn't work. Um, anyway, there you go. What else we got? This is a quiet crowd tonight. They're they're waiting for the, the second half to put all the questions in there. So all right, all right, all right. Uh, well, okay, so go ahead. I'll say yeah, we did have a question. Um about someone saying referring to programs frequently stopping while running the program, even if they're not using their phone or tablet for anything else. So at first I thought maybe this was related to the Analyze app because of course, you know, if in the current Analyze app, not the new Analyze app that we've been talking about uh, recently, if you answer a text, answer a phone call, move, move something to the background, that of course stops, but the, the Bonnie put into the chat here, she's referring to the Healy 2 app um, where the program um, saying in certain situations stops stops running. And that actually is not, um, certainly not a common thing that I've heard. The Healy 2 app is super stable, um, super reliable. So I'm, I'm trying to think of what, what situations the app's functioning properly, the Healy device is functioning properly, what could be going on on that person's smart device that could cause um, that to be the program to stop. Because once that program is transmitted to the Healy device, you don't need any sort of Bluetooth connection. It should continue to run. Um, there could be a situation where maybe you lose that Bluetooth connection. Maybe you you left your phone you know, on the, in one room and went downstairs or something like that. And that Bluetooth light would stop flashing, but the, the green light should continue to flash until that program completes. So Ken, what, what do you know of any situations where something specific to a smart device that could actually cause the program to stop running on the Healy device itself? Well, I would, I would, uh, I would ask the question as to the, the, what's the definition of their programs frequently stop while running. So what, what does that mean when it frequent, when it stops running? Um, is it, you know, is it described as you see it stop on the app? Are you seeing it described as the Healy device itself? The mm -hmm. green light goes off. What is the description of stop? Because 
uh, that, that's all different, right? If, if the Healy is turned on uh, and a program has been sent to the Healy and the green light is flashing, uh, and then you turn the smart device off, you shut the app off, you crush the device, <laughs> whatever, but the Healy will still run because the green light's still flashing. That's the indication that the, that the Healy is still running. Of course, if the battery goes dead, that's going to stop everything. But uh, the battery on the Healy, if it goes dead, that's going to stop everything. But I would love to know exactly what the the definition of stop running is. Um what you're experiencing there because there's there's several different things that could be uh when are we talking about say yeah. like like jake says everything's been sent everything's been started and then all of a sudden something shuts off like the heli itself shuts off um again there's only a couple of reasons that's going to happen the the button has pressed you know i mean if, i don't know if you accidentally you know leaned on it or something and we're able to press that button momentarily uh, that will turn the Healy off in the midst of a program. Um, if somehow there's been some kind of damage to the actual, what's called a diaphragm button right here. Um, but it's, it's really hard for that to happen, but you know, never know. And it intermittently or just um, sp sometimes activates the off function. That's a possibility. But from, uh, from the, for the most part, these guys are really reliable. This little hardware thing, it just works. Yeah. So Bonnie put into the chat here further down, it's on the screen of the tablet where it stops showing the program running. So yeah. it's in the app itself. She's saying it, it's actually showing that it stops. Okay. So if the app stops, the green light's still flashing on the Healy. Now we have a device uh, interface thing to look at. Um, Healy's Bluetooth, the only way that the app is going to display the function of the Healy is if there's a Bluetooth connection. There needs to be information sent from the Healy to the app. Uh, and then again, there's a two-way communication, but the Healy has to send information to the app to keep it up to date as to what it's doing. The app itself, once the app transmits all the content to the Healy hardware, the app itself is just a monitoring device. It's just like the the screen of your television running a Blu-ray or a, a, a movie of some sort. The screen is just a device that's um, uh, that's doing a function uh, based on the programming. So the app is, again, just that. The app is just monitoring. And if it loses signal for any reason, whether it be other Bluetooth devices that are outweighing or, or uh, interfering with the Bluetooth signal between the Healy and the smart device, or you get too far away from it, um, or your smart device itself is, um, the, is, remember Bluetooth on a smart device, it's got a hardware component, but there's a software or an app that actually runs the Bluetooth. So there's a hardware little transceiver inside your, your smart device, same thing as in Healy. And then there's software, right? A program, an app that actually um, operates that. So if there's something wrong with that on your smart device, that's going to lose signals as well. So th there's several things. It's a process of elimination. Um, if you if you understand also Healy's Bluetooth is what's called BLE or Bluetooth low energy. So it does not have much of a range, 32 feet max, max. And I'm going to tell you a little hint. If you take your Healy and you cup it in your hand and it's too far away from your smart device, just the cupping in your hand will reduce the Bluetooth signal enough to disconnect from your smart device. Okay, because it can't, it's not, it doesn't have a lot of power to transmit out of um, your hand. So, um, so think about that. It's all, all the Bluetooth connection is, is all line of sight. In other words, there's nothing interfering with it. And maximum line of sight is 32 feet. It's not very far, not very far. Okay. All right, what else we got? Let's see. Um, let's see, uh, kind of a follow-up to that coil question. If the coil sends out these magnetic energies, will people close to you also receive these energies? Yes. Yep. If you got somebody on your lap, <laughs> right? A pet even. Remember I said it's a, it's a three foot sphere. Now three foot is, is like, 
uh, Healy's understanding of its maximum space. The maximum transmission is right here at the device. And then it slowly depletes as it gets further and further away. Three feet is where there's kind of a, uh, a minimal measured threshold of energy, but that continues on infinitely to some degree, to some amplitude, that frequency is going through in the entire universe to some amplitude, right? The most effective is right there within your three foot bubble. So if somebody's sitting on your lap or you're hugging somebody, or there's a pet right there, uh, an infant, sometimes, you know, any of that, that's all there. Remember that what Healy does is it's, it's looking at the host that it's sending its information to, the, 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 the being, the entity, and it's seeking resonance, it's seeking um, alignment, balance, um, coherence. So if you have a child or a pet or a person in your proximity, it's also trying to sync, sync, sync up and seek coherence with that being as well. So whatever the purpose of the program is, let's say you're running um, mental balance, something, right? And there's a, uh, a fussy infant on your lap and you start running, all of a sudden that fussy infant starts to chill out. <laughs> I wonder what happened there, right? So um, Healy's starting to send some energy out there to start to downregulate stress response, upregulate rest and, di and digest and, and cool out those um, energized circuits within you. So... Yes, it will. It will integrate with others. Yeah, and I, can we talk about that a little bit last week? Actually, when we we're talking about the the effective range of essentially the mag Healy, the coil. You know, the mag Healy, for example, there was a question about how you know the atmosphere programs versus the ones that are meant to be placed where the mag Healy is actually on you, because um, the atmosphere programs are meant to influence the environment. The coil is meant to influence really you. I mean, of course, there is that three foot range, but it's meant to influence you, not to put in the corner of the room and influence the entire environment. Uh, because it can mention that there is that the, the as close as possible to the coil is where you want um, you to be to get the most benefits. Yeah. And th what's the idea? The idea is to get is to be most efficient, uh, the max, the max benefit. So uh, if you're going to utilize um, battery life on the Healy and, and your own efforts might as well maximize those. All right. Uh, let's see. Here's the next one I see is it says, can you uh, explain vibrate mode? <laughs> We've done that. <laughs> uh, but it's, it, again, it's a very great subject because we just got done talking about the tangible efforts of Healy, right? Connected via the wires or the coil. It feels like it's more tangible because it's, it's on your body. But now we talk about uh, the non-physical, right? Well, it's kind of all non-physical if you if you kind of look at things in terms of the definition of physical. But when we're talking about the vibrate mode, now we're going to move over into the Heal Advisor app, um, where we're starting to do the analytics and we're starting to actually have a very specific client. So you know that when you're running that app, you have to put in a client, you have to put in information about someone. And that information is, is, is its purpose is to create intention and targeting, essentially, um, a, like a GPS signal or a UPS signal, a universal uh, positioning signal. So it's only one target for the frequencies. So you, that's why you put your picture in there. You put your name in there first and last, because there's more than one Ken. There's more than one Jake, right? Uh, there may be even somebody looks similar to you, like in terms of a picture, but then you start putting their last name in. Now it starts to narrow it down amongst the billions of people on our planet. Then you put the birth date in there. That's a very relevant piece of information because now we're starting to hone in on the time in which one came to this life. Okay. And then that also weeds down, weeds out other people that were not born on that same day. But of course, there are people born on the same day as well. The next piece is where you were born. Uh, so logistics are important in terms of. Um, how these bodies were built in their in their initial creation, um, and then gender, and then the Healy at the very end or somewhere along the line takes an actual vibrational signal reading of you, a reading of you. Every one of us puts out a magnetic signal. Every one of you, you can say you don't, but you do. <laughs> and so, when you're angry, I mean, you don't even have, sometimes you don't even have to say a word, but somebody can feel it. 
You know, are you happy? You don't have to say a word and somebody can feel it. Or you walk up to a stranger and you feel something, right? And so this is the magnetic energy being emitted from this other entity or from ourselves. And so this is what Healy's reading. When, you're, when you put that vibrational recording into the uh, client list and the client record, now you have a very clear blueprint or uh, destination. So when you then uh, do an analysis with the program and it comes up with readings, and you decide to vibrate those readings or those findings into the client, it has a very distinct destination. It's going directly to the, the person with all those coordinates. And how does it do that? It does that through, um, it, it's essentially, it's a random generator. It's, it's consciousness, your consciousness or the consciousness of the client influences um, the, the direction of, of information from Healy, the direction, the, it's called quantum entanglement. And we did a great, a fun little thing on uh, Healy for Beginners and Beyond on quantum entanglement. I highly re rec uh, recommend that you go and take a look at that. Um, that's on the YouTube channel. If you guys aren't familiar with that, Jake, you want to tell them about the YouTube channel? Sure. I love to talk about the YouTube channel. <laughs> I love, I love uh, yeah. He Healyamericas.com will take you right to our YouTube channel. And from there, as Ken mentioned, you want to refer back to that training, I might as well just go ahead and show how uh, you can get to that while we're on the call here. We, we so, did that last week too, right? It's just like, yeah. let's show it. Yeah. I think we we do that most weeks, but we'll you go over <laughs> here. Uh, Heliamericas.com will take you right here. You can also find it on YouTube at, at Healy World Americas. And then if you go to the playlist, um, that was on a Healy for Beginners and Beyond. You view full playlist. And then you go down here. Um, we talked about here um, on the March 2nd, 2023 episode. Uh, that's an interesting video for our <laughs> ad. <to get> out <laughs> so, you know, we can't control which ads play on the, the YouTube page. But if you go there, who knows what you'll get. Um, maybe this will be helpful for somebody. But um, so the very first section though, you'll see here, if you click the view more, which I just did, um, the first segment is what is quantum entanglement? How does that relate to the, the Healy, the Analyze app and the information field? And if you just click directly on that timestamp, it'll take you right to that segment. And then you can kind of just go through here. And then also if you want to share that segment with somebody, um, you can just right click on this, copy link address and, and send it to somebody else from there or just click the, the share uh, button right here. I love that. I love yeah. it. It's, uh, it's, I mean, you know, there's so many tools there, the way that it's been hyperlinked and put all together there for you guys uh, to be able to dive in and, and just pull what you want. Um, thank you, Jake. And thank you for the, to the Healy team, our corporate team yeah. for doing all that work. It's just phenomenal. It makes it easy. All right. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Let's see. So here's one it says, uh, when you send scalar waves to someone, is it possible for your body to also pick up on frequencies as well? So um, I send my daughter programs for 35 minutes. Um, it, uh, it got rid of her, of her headache. That's great. Um, and had an awesome sleep. So um, though for me, I felt so energized, I didn't sleep. <laughs> so here's the cool thing. When, when, you're, when you're in that vibrate mode, there is a, uh, an intended uh, receiver, the, the, the target, the client. But the frequencies that Healy has assigned to this target are frequencies within a bandwidth that are beneficial to life, all life, right? Not just humans, but pets and plants and, and even other entities that um, are needing alignment in terms of energetic um, ener energy. So whenever that's being sent out of the Healy hardware, it's, it's, it is literally a frequency. It's like a, like a radio station playing out of Healy, right? You just can't hear it. It's the frequencies that are not within that audio range, but they're sending out of Healy to the client. And, where, and, and if you're doing this remotely, 
the Healy is in your house, right? In your space, you're getting them too. If, if those frequencies that were intended to the client are, are of some benefit to your body, right? Because there's, there's resonance with them, you'll receive them too. I often do remote stuff when I'm doing things um, uh, uh, like an analysis on a client or, or a friend or anyone. And I'm running it. Um, some of those things are resonant with me. Like I need those. I can feel them. Not always, but sometimes I'm running it for someone else. Right. And I'm, I'm like, Oh, I'm, I'm getting the tinglies. I'm getting this. <laughs> right? So what's that mean? That means that you're healing. Also, you're aligning also. Your body is increasing its state of wellness also. So uh, so let it ride. Now, if it's keeping you awake, <laughs> um, sorry, but uh, you know, it's it's one of those energetic frequencies your body needed. Is is and some people are really sensitive though. And so just take note of what's going on around you if you're very sensitive like that. And there are people that are very sensitive. Uh, that you uh, you may need to distance yourself. Um, uh, yeah, you know, just do it at different times of day. <laughs> uh, that's what I would suggest if it's around the nighttime thing. I know the nighttime thing is is a great time to send information to people because why? When they are down regulating their analytical mind, right? They're ready for sleep, they're ready for rest. That's when they're upregulating the ability to actually heal and let the body do its work, right? You get Ken out of the way and the body's going, I can heal now. Yay, right? That's the way it works. That's why we go to sleep to get the consciousness out of the way so the body can heal. So that's also takes place early in the morning. So you may change when you send that information to that other person from night to morning and see how you re respond to that. If it energizes you, don't need coffee. <laughs> Ken, I, I was also thinking maybe maybe part of that was excitement over her daughter having a great um, benefit from uh, doing this remote session. Because I know it, it is exciting when you kind of have someone get those types of types of results there too. So I, I mean, it could be a part of it. I don't know. But I always get it's hard to sleep when I'm <laughs> excited. So that's right. You know, the reason that the placebo effect is built into every drug study, because the mind is a super powerful thing. And if you're excited about, I mean, how many people, I don't know anybody that does not get excited when they've helped their child, right? When they've embraced their child and their child feels better. Like, I know I do. I'm like, yay. I'm going to be all excited. Okay. Um, so here's a question here uh, Cynthia is asking about, can you speak to the difference between harmful EMFs versus Healy applications? This is a great question. I've actually covered this before because EMF uh, is one of those three letter words, right? That has gotten a bad rap. It's got a reputation. EMF, you know what it stands for? Electromagnetic frequency. Okay. <laughs> um, so when we convert any current flow, well, anytime you have current flow from one point to another, remember I told you, you plug a cord into the wall, you have energy flowing through the cord to the light bulb, you turn the switch on, there's, there's current flow. And it's a current flow is, is the way that happens. It's, it's an electron flow. It's electron from copper molecule to copper molecule to copper molecule to copper molecule from the outlet all the way to the light bulb. Well, to be honest with you, it's from this generator somewhere, wherever that power is made <laughs> all the way to the light bulb. But the point is we're just gonna stay local. So it's electron flow. It's one electron at a time um, from the molecule of copper to another. Now it's not really one at a time, it's billions um, per second. So you get this energy transfer. So anytime you have an electron movement, from point A to point B, whether it's through copper wire or through the nervous system, it creates an, an emission, a magnetic field. That emission that comes off of that electron movement is called EMF. Okay. It's called EMF, electromagnetic frequency. And the electromagnetic emission has a frequency to it based on the rate of change 
of the electron movement. All right. <laughs> the outlet, the cords plugged into, the outlet's putting out 120 volts, but it's at a 60 hertz signal. So in other words, the magnetic field is coming off of that cord. There is one and you can measure it. There's a, a magnetic field, EMF coming off of that extension cord or that power cord from the outlet to the bulb. When you turn the bulb on, there's an EMF. There is a magnetic frequency and it's coming out at the rate of 60 hertz, okay? Which is the source is oscillating at 60 hertz. So Healy, when it is um, running a program, the program is finding frequencies uh, necessary for your alignment for whatever the purpose of the free of the program is. If it's like I mentioned earlier, something on the mental balance page or something on the fitness page or on the chakra page, it doesn't matter. The program has a resource pool of frequencies that it chooses that resonates just with you. And those frequencies are transmitted outward. Um, they're transmitted into the, into the wires, creating electron flow. Uh, the electron flow is oscillated at the frequencies of the program. Also, at the same time, out the, out the back of the Healy, out of the noise generator, those frequencies are being sent out into the airwaves. So uh, both those things happening are, are, are sending information into the body. The ones that are going out into the airwaves, right, out into space, are called EMFs. And Healy operates for, between a frequency range of 0 0.1 hertz to 1 million hertz. And it breaks that whole range up into almost 9 million different pieces. A lot, right? There's a lot of different frequencies. But 1 million hertz um, is, is, is a very, uh, what we call a small wave that can penetrate certain um, dense matter on purpose. So it's, it's aligning you. Um, it's using these frequencies to speak to organs and systems and cells uh, and there's other generators out there that do the same thing okay there's other generators out there that put out a ton of power um, at at frequency ranges that are not healthy okay so these frequencies that are being transmitted out of Healy or of anything um, not all of them are harmful these EMFs are not harmful it's the amplitude or the amount of power that they're being transmitted. That's what determines the, the, the depth of penetration into the mass of the body. And does it interface with systems and organs and cells? Yeah, it can. Um, but I won't get into evolution and how these bodies have adapted so amazingly because that's how we're built to adapt. Um, if you took a human body from the um, the early um, 1300s and brought them to this present moment, that human body would suffer because it hasn't evolved uh, and become more um, equipped to uh, handle some of the things that are being transmitted around. So this is what happens all the time. We evolve with our environment. Um, and Healy is helping us to do it in a, in a healthy way. All right. That may start more questions, but that's okay. <laughs> that's what we're here for, right, Ken? <laughs> we're here for, we, we're going to go down that rabbit hole and then that one and then that one. <laughs> All right. You got something there, Jake? Um, yeah, um, we've got a bunch more come in here. But one, one question here about the Heal Advisor app, uh, the search function. So the question was, it put in a topic in the search for all Healy IMF. It brings up a variety of program groups um, like Joint Harmony one to six, Bone Harmony, et cetera. How do you, so how do you choose? Because there's so many choices, and uh, you know, a lot of times the list of programs are similar. And actually, this is something I wanted to bring up on the call today because this kind of snuck into Academy without anyone anyone knowing. It's it's um there's a video. I'll share my screen again. This is um. So this is in the, the Academy, um, in the Healy section, there's a video here called Healy and Mag Healy First Step. It's actually the first video um, and in the section here, and it goes through setting up your, right. your Healy. The supplied in the app turns in focus. Up, if you would like to screen, 
and then for two hours after the program to your day eats to other for and boxes and press login um, now the latest expert data will be synced so from is, the Heal Advisor the cloud to your mobile device. In the, in the next your, step, you can activate the reminder function so that you do not miss a scheduled frequency step. application. Select <laughs> Healy IMF programs on the home screen. The, audio the, audio window. Hmm? The, the, the video? Yeah. The video is playing the audio over the top of your, of your conversation there. Okay, I, I, I actually meant to do that because I wanted to... Oh. Uh, this next section here is specifically, I'll be quiet so you don't hear me. But okay. <laughs> here you can enter a search term, for example, vitality. Select the first search suggestion under your search term, as this one best matches your search term. See, so right there it says select the first one because that's what the one at the top of the list is the most relevant for whatever you search for. There's additional additional options if you really want to go through each of the programs and Maybe you think that there's just some different programs in there that might be more beneficial, but in general, just go with the first one there and, you know, don't, don't overthink it because it is, this is pulling from a massive database and there's a reason why those results came up in that order. So. Yeah, th this is, um, when, when we're, I spoke a little bit about amplitude of frequencies. Um, and so the as they get further and further away from their their generator the, the source of the frequency it gets lower and lower and lower so the the ones in proximity of the beginning of it are the strongest so the same thing order is is created by the strength of its necessity or the strength of its origin so when you do a, a scan like that uh the strength of the necessity will be applied to the, i mean the very first thing will show you this is the first thing to do first. That's the strength of the necessity. Um, this is how um, this is how essentially this order of energy works uh, within this soup of the universe. <laughs> um, and our this is the way our body heals because what's necessary most is what the body's going to focus on first, right? So if if you're bleeding versus you have a uh, versus you have a thorn. Uh, in a, in some, a, some little thorn somewhere, but you you got a arterial uh, break and you're bleeding. The body sends all of its resources to the the spot in which you're having the most you have the most damage or you're having the most uh, the most need for healing, and that's going to be the bleed. So uh, these systems all work the same way. So that, I, I love that little analogy there that I give you. Okay, what else we got? Uh, I'm not sure where I was. Um, talked about the vibrate mode. All right. All right. Yeah. I think go. the next one is, are there any negatives to doing a hard shutdown, I guess, hard reset of the Healy device itself? You know, because we talk about a lot, can maybe there's some sort of connection issue or something's going on. You want to recalibrate the battery. And we do that. We've you know shown many times on this call how to do a hard reset and, you know, this is one of those things where you're not doing this all the time. <laughs> you're not doing a hard reset every day. Um, if you need to, there's something else going on there. But um, in general, doing a hard reset occasionally when there's something going on that you can't resolve in some other way. Um, I, I don't know of any specific number of hard resets you can you can do. It's just the same as turning your smart device off. Yeah. Um, when you turn your smart device off, it has to reboot and kind of re reconnect yeah. to the different peripherals. Uh, Haley's going to do the same thing. It's going to have to reconnect um, when you do a hard reset. So yeah. I mean, really, one, the only negative could be, you know, in the Healy app, you might have to reset some of your <laughs> your settings as far as, you know, the, the sound. I know a lot of times, well, in, in the old Pink dot app, you know, if you reset it, the sound would come on when you finish a program versus if you had that turned off. And it might surprise you at the end of the program uh, if you're used to having that sound off, but that's more of an inconvenience, not really a negative on the Helio device itself. So it's pretty inconvenient when you're in the middle of a lecture or something. That... <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. Uh, or you're everybody's, or you've been told, okay, everybody in the audience, turn your cell phones off. And then <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're the one, you're the one. <laughs> All right. Um, 
here's a great question. We just actually was just addressed today on the WhatsApp or on the uh, frequencies and friends. Will we be able to save the client list in history when installing the new blue app? So right now, currently the beta test um, it doesn't have access uh, to. Well, you're not really saving a lot because it's just a beta test. It's a it's a different platform. Um, as well as you may you notice you can't really send lists and stuff via the um, PDF. Uh, so uh, we had a, a little bit of presentation today about that. So hopefully that free, that recording will be available. But there's some new stuff coming, right, Jake? The the beta yeah, test. Yeah, we, we, we did a sneak peek of that back in early April on Healy for Beginners and Beyond. Some of the cool new features. Uh, coming there, and again, as Ken mentioned, Martin Whitman, our chief product officer, did a presentation today during Frequencies and Friends about the new Analyze 2 app, and he did mention that the target is uh, mid-May to get that launch. You know, we're still in the beta test, so it's not guaranteed, but, you know, that is the the target right now. Uh, that recording actually will be available uh, probably by end of the day tomorrow in our, on our YouTube channel that we just showed earlier. If you want to go check out that segment and we will definitely do another Healy for Beginners and Beyond more of a, a deep dive into some of these new features once the final version of the app is released. So, but yes, there, there is going to be a way to import um, the clients and things like that. But there was a, I think, I think Martin said the, the list was not going to be um, possible, but right. the other app will continue to, um, function for quite a while too. So it's not like it's just going to go away uh, once the new app launches soon. Yeah, that integration between um, the database, it's a very its a very delicate thing. And they, there's some things you just cannot integrate. You, you know, the things you're doing on one platform when you're testing things in a beta test format versus the final, um, the, the, the final database location, they're not really connected so the import function or the transfer function is not possible. So yeah, and if, if you watch that segment, you know, Martin Whitman mentioned how the the analyze app, the current analyze app, the it dates back to 2016 as far as the, the type of platform it was built on. Mm -hmm. Um and of course we this new one's really been in the works for six, seven years um to bring it up to date, which up to date, but also allows so much more things to be added in the future as well. All right, let's see. So, okay, uh, here's, a, here's one, let's see. Toby says that, uh, where to go? I'm trying to help a woman who hasn't used uh, Healy in quite a few weeks and now gets the message in the blue app, um, your modules are not activated yet. Um, connect your Healy and restart the app. Um, what should she do next? <laughs> well, um, so let's see. It looks like I'm just seeing if uh, Christian put some information in here for you. Um, well, all right. So if if you haven't used your device up, making sure everything is up to date, number one, right? Um, I don't think we've had a new... Um, I'm looking back. I don't think we've had a new blue dot or blue app update. Um, yeah, since it's, it's it's been a while again because all the all the attention on the the new the new app that's coming up. Yeah, I don't think there's been any updates on the on that uh, blue app, the analyze app, since the since the launch of the beta testing. Uh, but again, still making sure that everything's up to date, both the the hardware or the software on your smart device and this and the app itself. And the way you do that is just go to the app store and open the app from there, essentially, making sure you've got the most current. Um, doing a uh, an update from your cloud account so that uh, you do a synchronization process. If you're not familiar how to do that, um, that's in the blue app that's done from the um, from the the, uh, the cloud account, the, the settings tab. You go in there and you can do an, uh, a synchronization of full sync. If you're having problems with this full sync function, in other words, it's locking up or it's not working, something's going awry and it's not actually updating, that could be causing um, some of the, the, the missing components for your blue app or your analyze app to, to, to be working. Um, you know, don't be afraid of deleting the app and re reinstalling it just because 
here's what happens. Folks have their smart devices and guess what? We're using these things for everything today, right? I mean, you've got the pictures of the birthday parties you've been at in the last 25 years. Well, it's not that long, but you've got uh, the videos from every training you've ever done and you screenshot everything, right? <laughs> and pretty soon the memory on this guy has been used up. And the thing is, is that, that Healy requires a bunch of, of memory to operate, okay? It's a, it's a resource hungry system, essentially. And within the device here, within the smart device, um, the memory is allocated for everything from checking your emails to um, adjusting the screen sensitivity to I, everything is, is, is being, uh, the memory is being tasked for all this, all this work. And so if you have a whole bunch of pictures and a whole bunch of apps and a whole bunch of files on your smart device, now that resource pool is getting smaller and smaller and smaller for Healy's function. Not just Healy, not just Healy, the other apps could be suffering as well. You may notice some things such as anytime you're, you're typing something, maybe you'll see the screen, you're typing away on the little keypad, but you're seeing the screen update slower or it's loading apps a little bit slower or, or, or getting locked up more often. Okay, so this is an indication that the memory resource on your smart device is uh, is getting too low. You should have a minimum, a minimum of twenty five percent of your uh, your memory on your device. If you have a sixty four gigabyte device, you got to have at least twenty five percent of that available, not used, not used up, right? So that you can uh, your apps and your functions can work by because it takes that memory uses it and then puts it back, right? So it uses some of it and puts it back. It's constantly this little dance. If you get too low on memory within your smart device, some of the apps could get written over. In other words, you know, uh, an app that's sitting there in a memory location and some other stuff is, you know, using that memory location, it could get corrupted. The, the program within one app could get corrupted and it stops, stops working properly. Healy can, that, the Healy program can happen that way too. So by deleting it and reinstalling it, you can clean that up. But if you didn't clean up your memory, you know, it's okay. Download those pro programs or those pictures, put them on a hard drive somewhere, right? Get them off your device or get a cloud account, something. Get them off your device so you have more memory. Try that. Try that. You'll see it works faster as well, by the way. Okay. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Let's see. So here's a question. Ken, uh, when you mention quantum entanglement, it implies also uh, for groups uh, when the list of users are below a common group. Okay, so it means everyone in the group is entangled, is entangled single, um, or they are as a whole group of energy. So this is a great question, but I want you to understand quantum entanglement it's very smart. <laughs> it is extremely smart. One electron and one electron create a unique bond in the quantum field and nothing else talks to it. Or one electron and a massive number of electrons interface, but still the bond between one, one electron in one um, form of matter and one electron in another form of matter, that is a string all by itself all by itself. So one human being and another human being or one human being amongst a group of human beings, still there's a, there's a very select entanglement that's unique. So it's a great question because if you are assessing uh, a group, right? And um, the programs are allocated to the group, the client, was built, created, and entangled based on a group, all right? So when one entity moves out of that group, the group changes, but it's built upon its origin. The group may physically change, but the entanglement will never. So the origin in which it was analyzed will always be a signature in space and time, right? Forever, infinity. The moment there's an entanglement made, it's, it's forever and it's timeless. So any change between one 
electron will influence the rest. So this group that you create, its, it's entanglement signature will always be there, no matter how many people jump out of that group or not. The, the group and what it represented with each individual piece still lives in space and time. Does that make sense? So, um, so yeah, any, any frequencies or energies that are applied to that group are going to upregulate or adjust the group and its individual parts. So you can't get out of it. <laughs> I guess you might say you're going to be entangled forever. No difference than, for instance, you, um, I like to use the analogy, you can't untaste the orange juice, right? So the moment you drink orange juice, you have this entanglement. All the senses start to understand orange juice. And you may never, ever drink it again for 50 years. But somebody walks up to you after never hearing about orange juice for 50 years and said, hey, you want a glass of orange juice? That entanglement brings a memory to the very present moment. And you go, oh, I hate orange juice. No, I don't want orange juice. But everything about it, the flavor, the taste, the smell, uh, the, the, the color, all that comes back to this present moment. So you're never not entangled. You can't unexperience something. You cannot rehearse it. You cannot practice it. You cannot bring it to the forefront if you wish, but you won't unexperience something. You're quantum entangled with an experience. Okay. Does it, again, people say, well, what about traumatic experiences? Well, you don't unexperience it. You just stop experiencing it in this present moment. Right? That's our work. That's our work is that, we no longer rehearse it. We no longer let it be a emotional response every single moment. We move beyond that, that boundary. We allow our lives to, to move forward from that time. So quantum entanglement is, is amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay. What else we got? Ah, man, time flies. It's already... Okay. Um. Uh, when I was running Blue Dot app, um, after running a program for one person um, before starting uh, for a second person, should I re reboot my cell phone? No. No. If, if, if you are, so the app itself, remember the app, you can have 100 clients in there and you can do assessment after assessment after assessment after assessment, different client, different client, different client, different client. It's a program. The app is a program. You don't have to shut it down and start it back up. You don't have to disconnect from the Healy and reconnect from the Healy. No. Remember that, that the infinite field is this amazing amount of information. And Healy has access to every bit of it. It's, it's quite beyond our mind's comprehension in terms of mass, uh, in terms of speed, in terms of um, um, volume. It's really hard for our mind to comprehend that. Uh, but the quantum field is an infinite amount of information. And Healy taps into that at the speed of light. It goes, ah, pff, 100 clients? Come on, give me something to do. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Healy can handle it. No, you don't have to shut down your device. All right. A couple of quick questions here. Um, Christian, thank you for already answering this one. But Bonnie had that follow-up from earlier about if it loses that Bluetooth connection, does the program continue to run as long as the that green light is flashing? And yes, that, that means the program is um, continuing to run and it'll continue to run until it, it finishes that program. At that point, that light would go off. And you can, if for some reason also you lose Bluetooth connection, you can also reconnect. And then once you open that app back up, it'll show you where you are in the program itself too. And you could adjust the intensity again um, as well. So. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, here's what it says. Uh, my friend's Healy often run, uh, turns itself off and it stops running while a program is running. Uh, the green yellow light turns off and the Healy is fully charged and the on off button is not uh, compressed or pressed. So, um, so there's some troubleshooting um, that uh, Christian put in there about the recalibration, um, which is the reset function. Now, um, if and now I would start to mind the amount of time. Um, if you'll notice when 
the program says say 53 minutes it says 53 minutes maximum so in other words uh you start writing a program and it does an assessment on the body on the person now i'm talking about in the pink dot app or the healy 2 app right here you're running with microcurrent you're running with the coil whatever and it has it, it has a program that says uh, maximum duration, say 53 minutes. And it's a, um, I don't know, mental balance program. Uh, and it starts running. Okay. So the first part of the Healy's modality is to assess uh, the, the person it's connected to, to find uh, the, the needs, the balance that this person, this entity is connected to needs and start to um, come up with frequencies that are going to resonate and create balance. Once it finds that, then it starts to implement them. Once it starts to implement them for a while, it starts to give you a progress report, right? And now you get a percentage of progress with each individual frequency. If you get 100% progress or should say full resonance with each of these frequencies, it, the program is going to shut off. Healy, every frequency that comes up uh, at 100% resonant with the body, in other words, the progress report is moved all the way up to 100%. Your body is full. You know, you have a glass, you fill it with water. When it's full, it runs over. Healy doesn't run over. It gets to 100% and stops, turns the water off, right? Turns that frequency off, kicks it out of the rotation. So if that happens to every one of those frequencies that you that it has assessed you need and your body's 100% resonant with all of them, it shuts off. It doesn't matter if that's 50 minutes, uh, if it's 40 minutes, uh, it doesn't matter. It will shut off. And then the green light goes out. Take a look at that. See if that's happening. All right. Okay. Two questions to which will probably take us through the end of this call. One um, question about the Mag Healy. Uh, is my Mag Healy considered a pro version with the upcoming subscription? So yeah, we, we <clears throat> talked a little bit about this on Frequencies and Friends today. We mentioned a little bit um, prior to that as well. There's more information that will be released this later this month as far as trainings and things like that and more details on the subscriptions but anybody that has a mag healy right now is a professional edition essentially lifetime access to all the programs no one's going to have to pay to continue to access the programs that they already have so this will all be made clear you know leading up to the launch but um, nothing to worry there as far as um, you having to pay for anything going forward really what the subscription is it's going to give um, anyone that wants to use the Mag Healy, a lower entry point into it, because it is um, at the current price, our most expensive item when you factor in you know, the professionals on the 35% off discount right now, the Mag Healy is a little bit more expensive than that. And, you know, if you want to just try it out, maybe you just want to try out the classic edition, or maybe you just want to try out the classic and then the making programs, and that's enough for you. Uh, this gives you an option to pay less upfront for that Healy device and just add on those programs as you go. Maybe you just want to try out some of the other modules for one month or three months or six months. And maybe after six months, you no longer need those programs. And you can just, you know, to, you know, cancel that part and maybe try the water, the water module, uh, something like that. So it gives you a lot more flexibility. Uh, there still will be a professional edition sold even after the subscriptions launch. So you will still be able to get a Mag Healy with lifetime access to those, to those modules. Um, but this is just, you know, more options for people to um, try out the Mike Healy, which is super powerful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, okay, well, here's our, I, I'm a, this is our last one, everybody. So thank you very much for being here, by the way. And I'm seeing some thank yous in the, in the background and uh, some, some comments. I'll be back. Yay! Yeah. I'm glad you guys are getting some information and some benefits. So definitely come back and invite people. But here's a lot of the one I want to close out on. It says sometimes um, that progress report comes up in a negative percentage. Remember, we talked about that progress report when Healy is connected to you, you're running the microcurrent or the coil. Um, it's done its assessment protocol and it's done its application protocol. And now it's giving you a progress report. The progress report is on a, a, a number line. The number line is uh, from a negative 99% or it's negative 100 to a positive 100. So zero being balance. Um, negative 100% meaning really unbalanced, positive 100% being completely balanced, right? You got, I mean, you completely um, um, energized, I mean, optimized. So zero, if it's a zero, means that your, your body's kind of, um, it's not 
So diseased is, I mean, that's not the right word. It's not completely depleted, but it's not charged up, right? So negative 99% is definitely depleted. <laughs> whatever that frequency, that program it needs, whatever that is, uh, you're very depleted. Your body is really needing it. So it has longer to go. Um, don't expect one program to align you 100%, right? It's, it may take a couple. It took you this many years to get out of balance. Come on, <laughs> give yourself some time to get back in balance, right? Healy's a miracle worker, I think, but nah, come on. It does, it does take uh, a bit of effort. So the negative is not negative in terms of you're a bad person <laughs> or you've done anything wrong. Yeah. It's not a right or wrong, good or bad. It's just that it's very depleted. Yeah, you need it. You need that one more. <laughs> you need it. Just keep going. <laughs> All right, Jake, anything you want to close out with? No, I mean, just, again, the recording will be available on our YouTube channel, HeliAmericas.com. Um, typically within, you know, 48 hours or so from when the call's over, it'll be available. If you want to go back and reference anything that we discussed and join us tomorrow on What's Up Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern time, we're going to have... Um, some more great tips and also a sort of a recap of a lot of the things that we discussed on frequencies and friends today as well. All right, you guys. Well, Hey, thank you all for being here. Uh, many blessings to all of you. And definitely if you found benefit share this with others, invite a friend and we'll see you again. Well, we, pr we will not see you again next week. Yeah. Um, next week is homecoming week. So there's a lot going on. We're not going to have what's up Wednesday or I don't think or tech tip Tuesday next no. week. So we'll all be busy here in Orlando getting things getting things ready, welcoming people in from out of town, out of the country um, mm -hmm. as well. But um, we'll resume um, the following week. And so we'll be prepared for two weeks worth of questions next or the, <laughs> the next Tech Tip Tuesday. Well, we will be here and be ready for you guys. So thanks a lot for being here. See you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.